Hi, my name is Risa Solomon St. Louis, and I'm the chef and owner of Bacchanal Caribbean Lifestyle Foods. And today I'm going to be making for you one of my favorites. It's a quick and easy way to infuse some Caribbean flavors into your meal at home. Really simple. We're going to be using our sweet jerk sauce. Yes, sweet and spicy, one of the favorite flavor profiles of the Caribbean. And infusing that into some chicken thighs or chicken breast, whatever you like. So it's so simple. I've got some canola oil here, and I've just heated up my skillet. Just a little bit of touch of oil on the bottom. We'll let that heal up, heat up for a moment or so. And I've got some chicken that's already pre-seasoned with a little bit of sea salt and some of our Bacchanal spice blend, which is great. A little bit gives some flavor, a bit more, gives a bit of a heat, a bit of a kick of heat, so it's whatever you want. And um, yeah, so we're going to add our, actually I'm going to add our onion first. So I love, I love red onion. A little bit of sweetness when it caramelizes is delicious. So I'm just going to let that saute. And we know it's ready when it starts to get a little bit clear and translucent. I don't have to add too many things to this because our spice blend is actually quite flavorful. And you'll see that even though I season my chicken, I just add a little bit more to the pan when I'm cooking. It's perfect. You don't have to, that's my choice. So I've got some pink salt actually here, Himalayan salt. Oops, throwing a bit over my shoulder. Who knows why I did that? Think about it. <laughs> keep the evil spirits away. Okay, so our onion is just about cooked out. Now I'm going to add in my chicken. Take a little bit out. We don't need that much right now. So this will probably take, I'm gonna say about, shouldn't take too much more than 10 minutes because we can cook it on a fairly high heat. That's the nice thing about just doing a little bit of prep in advance. It doesn't take very long. You use either your um, chicken thighs, chicken breast if you want something a little bit more low fat. And it shouldn't take very long at all to cook. It's really simple. So, of course, with, when we do when we prepare our chicken, the first thing that we're going to do is I actually do clean my chicken with vinegar or lemon juice and cold water. And then it depends on you and the time you have available. You shouldn't feel pressured. If you want to season it overnight, that's up to you. Infuse more flavor, but it's perfectly fine to just season it and let it sit for a couple of minutes because you can always introduce more spices in the pan as you're cooking. And when you've got a great spice blend, it's really taking a lot of the uh, work out on the, from the beginning. I'm gonna put in a little bit more salt. So as you can see, the chicken is almost ready. I just like mine a little bit more brown probably reach to the desired temperature, but I like to have a little bit of brown bits on my chicken, get that caramelization going. So next, what I'm going to do, you see, I'm, I'm making sure that it's really actually thoroughly cooked. And guess what? This is something that you can even do with leftover chicken in a pinch if you want, because our sauces, like our sweet jerk, or even our roasted tomato choca. You can use the roasted tomato choca exactly the way that I'm doing here today and toss it on pasta or also toss it, on, toss it on rice. And you've got some wonderful flavor that's infused. The sweet jerk is a little bit is spicy because it's made with our own house jerk sauce, but then it's moderated with some tropical fruits. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to add some of the sweet jerk sauce 
And you know the lovely thing about this, because it has some brown sugar and a bit of maple syrup in it, is it caramelizes on high heat. So this sauce is also great if you want to grill the adventurous in the fall or winter or save it for the summer and do your grilling. It's wonderful for that. And as I'm sure you can imagine, it's wonderful with sweet jerk wings. And you can serve this as an entree or you can use skewers and serve it like a nice appetizer or tapas. It's perfect for the holidays and so easy. Look how quickly this is done. Now I'm going to add a little bit of chopped peppers because I, I love peppers. You can really smell that. It's so nice. It's delicious. I can smell the pepper too. We make all of our sauces and our spice blends from scratch. Well, guess what? That's done. That was simple, wasn't it? Imagine you come home from work, all you had to do was cut up your chicken, toss in the spice blend, cook it up with a little bit of onion and pepper. If you like, you don't have to. And then um, you're going to cook it for a few minutes and then finish it with the sauce because that's what it, we're doing. And so you can have it, if you'd like, you can have it with um, just salad if you like, if you want more of a uh, low-cal option, the low-carb option. But you can also have it, it's wonderful with um, rice and peas. Get a little bit of those peppers on there. And I'm going to just finish it with just a little bit of fresh herbs for garnish. How quick was that? We're done. Sweet jerk chicken, coconut rice and peas. Sorrel is a traditional drink from the English Caribbean and it's made with hibiscus flowers. In fact, hibiscus the hibiscus flower has more than 100 varieties and hibiscus sabdarifa is a variety of the flower that is used in drinks, condiments and different types of foods in all kinds of tropical regions. It's sorrel in the English Caribbean, it's kerkede in the Middle East, it's bisap in parts of Africa. You also may know it as Jamaica if you've been to Mexico. So sorrel is also the name of the craft drink that we make in the Caribbean from the flowers. And today, and traditionally you drink it on its own um, with a uh, over ice or with a splash of rum. And we make our sorrel very traditionally. So it's a very lovely drink. And in fact, many of our customers have called it tastes like Christmas. So we're really excited to share it with the Afro-Caribbean community as well as lots of our customers here in the Ottawa area. So today we're going to make one of our favorite things with sorrel and that is to turn it into a beautiful mocktail. And we're going to make a sangria style mocktail. So we've got frozen fruit in a glass and so you can either add ice or just use the frozen fruit. And we're going to fill the glass about just to cover the berries with some sparkling water and uh, just a little bit more, perfect. And now we're going to add some pineapple juice to fill the glass to halfway. It's so simple and beautiful tropical flavors, lovely. And now we're going to add some sorrel. And we'll just fill the glass about three quarters of the way full. And you won't believe the beautiful, tangy, aromatic flavors of sorrel, such a beautiful mocktail. And guess what? If you're adventurous, you can add a splash of rum or a splash of vodka, and it's instantly a cocktail. Everybody can enjoy it because this is a delicious mocktail. Cheers.